right up here, we have the echo rate knob, which affects the delay time for the active tape heads. If you turn it clockwise, you will have shorter echoes. Then right here, we have the head select, which cycles through the tape head combinations. The LEDs indicate active heads. The first head is dotted 16th note, second is dotted 8th note, and third is quarter note. Then down here, we have the input volume, and also the tape age. Um, the input volume is just the tape recording level. The alternate select switch activates the alternate tape age, bass, and treble controls. Here we have the dwell, or bass. Dwell determines the amount of drive that is sent into the reverb tank. And alternately, it is the bass EQ, it's flat at noon. Then we have the reverb volume slash treble knob, and that's pretty straightforward, it's the reverb level. Alternately, it is the echo treble, which is also flat at noon. Then we have the echo volume knob, which is just the tape echo level and how much you want in the mix. Then we have the feedback knob, which is the echo repeats, and it is also self-oscillating at higher settings. In the back, we have a mono in, a stereo in, mono and stereo out, the Bluetooth pairing button, the 9 volt DC power in, as well as a USB-C input to connect to your computer for firmware updates with the UA Connect desktop app. So since I only have two arms, um, I brought Derek in so that he can play guitar while I mess with the pedal in real time. It also has some pretty cool Bluetooth features. You can download and connect to the UAFX iPhone app. I think they have one for Android as well. And that gives you features such as trails on and off, which allows the effects to ring out or stop, depending on what you want the bypass mode to be set at. It also has different foot switch modes. In the delay reverb mode, each foot switch always toggles its respective delay and reverb effects on and off independently. In the effect and performance mode, the left foot switch always toggles all effects on and off, while the right foot switch can control one or more functions simultaneously. You can affect things like tap tempo, feedback swell, and echo rate ramp up and down. It's a pretty neat feature and I really appreciated how easy it was to set up. I just connected it to my phone and it was all ready to go. Yeah, so overall, I love this pedal. I love everything it does. I love how it's laid out. It's super straightforward. The knobs aren't too close together, so they're easy to get to, easy to turn. Some pedals, everything's like so tiny, you know? It's built like a tank. It sounds great, super versatile. It does everything it says it will do and more. I love that it has the Bluetooth app function and you can connect it to your computer for updates. Super easy. Thanks so much to Universal Audio for sponsoring this video. I had a blast trying out this pedal. Thank you so much to my Patreon people per usual. You guys are the best and I will see you around.